President Bola Tinubu has joined other Nigerians to personally express their condolences to the family and the entire people of Ondo State over the death of the state governor, Rotimi Akeredulu, who died on Wednesday morning at the age of 67. A statement personally signed by the Nigeria president, Tinubu expressed his grief on the passing of the governor, describing him as a fighter, man of ideas and actions, as well as fearless defender of truth and the masses. Akeredulu, at 67, died after a prolonged battle with prostate cancer, the state government confirmed. The State Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Mrs. Bamidele Ademola Oletedu, announced the governor's death in a statement saying, Mr. Governor peacefully departed from this world in the early hours of today, Wednesday, December 27, 2023. In his tribute, President Bola Ahmed Sinubu said, I'm on my fearless brother, Rotimi Ekeredolu. It is a difficult task to have to pen a tribute and sing a dead for a departing soul. It is a more difficult job in our African culture when one is compelled to do so for a younger person. Here am I having the difficult job of singing a dead for Uluwarotimi Odunayo Akeredulu, my beloved brother, confidant, political soulmate, and the executive governor of Undu State. It is an impossible task to fully capture in world Rotimi's towering figure and his human essence. Rotimi was a man who moved our nation towards equity, fairness and justice in his strident advocacy against every form of injustice in our country through the instrumentality of the law as a senior advocate, attorney general of his beloved state, as president of the Nigerian Bar Association and governor of Undu State. In a challenging moment of our statehood when marauding agents of darkness spread their tentacles across our country, Rutimi was a strong voice in wilderness calling us to rethink our security architecture so we can have a more secure nation. His unrelenting advocacy led to the birth of the local police in the Southwest. Rotimi was a man of ideas and action. While he was with the U.S., he taught U.S. the power of action and service. In Undo State, where he had the honor to serve as the governor over the past six years, he served his people with absolute loyalty, dedication, and forthrightness. His footprint dot the entire landscape of the state through the hundreds of kilometers of roads he built, the many schools he built, and health care facilities that he provided. During the dark hours when marauding agents of darkness visited the state and killed defenseless citizens, where 40 worshippers of the Catholic Church of Owo were killed on June 5, 2022, wrote to his leadership qualities as a true statesman and compassionate leader radiated brightly to the world. He was a monarch in chief who guided his people through an agonizing period. Today, I'm on a fighter and fearless defender of truth and the masses. My personal journey with Rotimi started as joint members of the Progressive family. We fought many battles together to restore progressive governance in the Southwest Edo State and Nigeria as a whole. During this uncertain period, Rotimi was resolute and unflinching. He showed uncommon courage as a member of our legal team in our battles to reclaim our stolen mandates in Ekiti, Ondo, Edo, and Oshun states. A gallant lawyer and one of the finest of the legal profession. I beckoned on him to contest for the governorship position of Ondo state in 2012. Even though he did not make it in his first attempt, his enthusiasm and determination to serve his people never diminished. He eventually made it to the Elabaka government house in his second attempt in the 2016 election. Since he was sworn in in February 2017, he had served the people with devotion. Rotimi has played his role well and left U.S. untimely. We will never see his likes again. Let me tell the people of Undo State that I am grieving with you. We will honor Rotimi's memory and make sure his legacy of service is never forgotten. In my grief and sadness, I have telephoned his wife, Betty, and acting Governor Loki Ayedetiwa to commiserate with them and urge them to take heart over this national tragedy. Governor Akeredolu was not just a friend and associate, the departed leader was a brother and a soulmate. His death is a blow to our governing APC and the progressive family as we are diminished by it. I hope that his successor Ayedetiwa will hold steadfast to the vision of governance left by this towering political leader. Former governor of Anambra State and the presidential candidate of Labour Party in the just-concluded Nigeria general elections, Peter Obi, recalled how close he was with the late governor Rotimi Akeredolu when the late governor was the president of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA. 
Peter said, I have just received the sad news of the death of two prominent political leaders, the governor of Ondo State, Governor Otimi Akeredolu, and the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Gali Uma Naaba. I was opportune to be close to Governor Akeredolu as the then president of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA. He invited me to speak at an NBA event and since then we remain close and always discuss issues about Nigeria. While Naaba served as speaker, we met on several occasions and always discussed the problems of Nigeria. For Akerodolu, may God Almighty who called him home grant him eternal rest in his kingdom and grant his immediate family and the good people of Ondo State the fortitude to bear his loss. For Gali Naaba, may God Almighty forgive his sins and grant him eternal rest and grant his family and the good people of Kano State the fortitude to bear his loss. Their deaths show us, who are still serving, the nothingness of life and why we should remain firm in good works. May God grant all of us, who mourn them, and the entire nation, the fortitude to bear their losses. Former Nigeria Vice President and the Presidential Candidate for People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the recently held general elections in Nigeria said Akeredolu was never known for destructive politics. As if he said, it was with a rude shock and sadness that I read about the passing of the governor of Ondo State, Chief Rotimi Akeredolu, son, and former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Gali Uma Naaba. Governor Akeredolu was a quintessential gentleman who took the finesse to governance. A two-term elected governor of the Sunshine State, Akeredolu was a politician of class because he was never known for destructive politics. Honorable Naaba, on the other hand, raised the bar of legislative enterprise in Nigeria as it is evident that the first session of the National Assembly where he served with distinction between 1999-2003 and remains one of the best in the annals of our legislatures. Both Governor Akeredulu, Aketi, as he was fondly called, and Speaker Naaba will be solely missed for the inestimable roles that they played in our national development. I express deepest condolences to their respective families and pray to God to grant their souls a peaceful repose. I also join the good people and governments of both Ondo and Kano states to mourn the demise of these towering political figures. Meanwhile, Edo state governor, Godwin Obaseki said Rotimi Akeredolu built a legacy of sacrifice while he was alive. Obaseki said, it is with great grief that I received the news of the passing of my brother governor and their friend, Arakunri. Rotimi Akeredolu, the governor of Ondo State, who served his people meritoriously and diligently, building a legacy of sacrifice, sustainable development and prosperity. Brave and independent-minded, Akeredolu was a great man in all ramifications. From an illustrious career as a lawyer, rising to become a senior advocate of Nigeria and then serving as governor of Ondo State, his intellect, hard work and diligence stood him out and was reflected in his attainment and the fervor with which he served the good people of Ondo State. His legacy in the legal profession is indelible as he was renowned in his field of expertise while building a reputation of being thorough, incisive and comprehensive. It won him a lot of admirers who came to recognize his genius. As governor of Ondo State, Akeredolu worked for the people of Ondo State and was committed to the state's advancement not minding its toll on him. He was a governor who cared deeply and undertook projects that would cement his name in the sands of time. He made remarkable progress in developing different sectors of the state's economy and improved on key indices of government. When it mattered the most, he was always a voice of reason to provide insight, direction and guidance on issues of national importance, a reflection of his love for our dear country and deep introspection. He indeed gave himself for the service of the motherland. He will be remembered for his unwavering commitment to Nigeria's development, for contributing to the emergence of modern Ondo State and for his unblemished faith in Nigeria's unity and diversity. I commiserate with the government and good people of Ondo State and the Akeredolu family, and pray that God will grant all the fortitude to bear this painful and irreparable loss. Former presidential spokesperson, Reno Omokri reacted to some statements describing the death of Governor Rotimi Akeredolu as evidence of the emptiness of life and vanity of wealth. Reno Omokri said Romiti Akeredolu positively affected the earth before he died. Reno Omokri said, I have seen some statements describing the death of Governor Rotimi Akeredolu as being evidence of the emptiness of life and vanity of wealth. 
I beg to disagree. Governor Akeredo will live for 67 years in a country where the average lifespan is in the 50s, and in that time, he positively affected the earth. He was a successful legal practitioner who rose to the pinnacle of his profession when he was appointed Attorney General of Ondo State in 1997. Thereafter, he was honored by his peers through his confirmation with the title of Senior Advocate of Nigeria in 1998. A meritorious stint as the chairman of the Legal Ad Council followed this. Ten years after he became a son, his colleagues gave him a stellar endorsement by electing him the president of the Nigerian Bar Association in 2008. He subsequently became governor of his state eight years later. None of these achievements are vain or empty. Therefore, the life and times of Rotimi Akeredulu are self-evidently the opposite of that classification. He lived a very meaningful life and should be emulated in many areas. Instead of sanctimoniousness, what we could do is learn lessons from his life. One lesson is that we are one united country. This Akeredolu demonstrated by his inter-tribal marriage to an Igbo lady. Another lesson we can draw from his life is professionalism. He was not a jack of all trades. He micro-focused on his legal career and made it to the top. Proving that school is not a scam, and that success awaits if you focus by following one course until success. Finally, we learned that cancer can afflict anyone at any time. Therefore, we need to pour more investment into fighting it and making treatments as local and as affordable as possible, because early detection is often crucial to defeating that scourge. We would all do well to get a regular health checkup, even as local, state and federal governments should do more to make this a possibility for ordinary Nigerians. That would be a worthy tribute to Akete, as Akeredolu was fondly called by his people. I did not know him enough to mourn him, so I will not do that as it may be considered hypocritical by his immediate family. But I know of him sufficiently to celebrate his life. May his soul rest in peace and may God grant his family fortitude and succor. Additionally, we pray for the peace, progress and stability of Ondo, the state Akeredolu loved so much. We can go at any time. So, let us use the present like a present and live with presence of mind. Live life well before you live life.